Hi everybody, I'm Chef Julia, and today I'm going to be making something I make almost every day, usually every other day, and that's my daily greens. As you can see, I've got some water boiling over here. My method is to blanch the greens. And why do I eat greens every day? Well, I follow the daily dozen from the book How Not to Die. And one of the daily dozen is to eat two servings of greens a day. So according to Dr. Greger, who authored the book, his greens are arugula, beet greens, collard greens, <clears throat> kale, all kinds of kale, black, green, and red, mescaline mix, like spring mix, mustard greens, sorrel, spinach, Swiss chard, and turnip greens. And there's many other greens. Bok choy is a green. I don't see that listed, but it's a green. <clears throat> and the serving size is one cup raw or a half cup cooked. Two servings a day minimum. Now, if you follow Dr. Esselstyn from the Prevent and Reverse Heart Disease, he'll say eat six servings of greens a day. So he gets into having more servings. So I try to eat as many as I can, but at least two. And in my ebook called How Not to, <clears throat> called um, Chef Julia 21 Day Challenge, um, which I wrote following the Daily Dozen to help people follow the Daily Dozen and eat the way I do, I have my recipe for daily greens. So um, I wanted to kind of give you a demo today because this question is asked of me all the time about how do you make your greens every day? How do you make your greens? So um, it's not very complicated, but it's uh, just a certain method that works really well and results in some really appetizing greens. And that's the thing, they taste good. It's hard to do this every day if you don't like the taste of it. So um, what I like to do, and it's funny because my Japanese mother, she was doing this method of cooking way before anybody was worried about eating greens every day. And she would do this all the time. Now, I didn't really pay attention to it because I didn't care. But she would take big bunches of spinach. And I have some kale, but I'm not going to use this kale right now. But she would take big bunches of spinach, clean them up, and then she would put them in boiling water. And she would boil them for, I didn't know how long, but probably a minute or so. And then she would take them out of the water, squeeze all the water out of them. Well, she would rinse them in cold water squeeze all the water out of them, and then she would put them on little tiny plates, and she would sprinkle them with freshly ground sesame seeds and a little soy sauce, and that we would eat that a lot. So when I started thinking about how was I gonna eat greens every day, I thought, well, I used to love my mother's Japanese-style greens. So I came up with my own method of doing this to get maximum amount of greens, and uh, the greens that I buy I hate the fact that they're in a blister package, but that's what they come in. Or they come in big plastic bags. They're um, super greens. They have baby spinach, Mizuna, M-I-Z-U-N-A, baby chard, and baby kale. So what I do is I get a, this is like a seven quart pot. I bring the water to a boil. And you, if you could see it, it's really at the highest heat and it's a rolling boil. Let me make sure it's up on the highest. I turned it down for a minute. It's on the highest, oops, there it is. I to make sure it's on the highest heat. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this whole 10 ounce package of greens in here without dropping them all over the place. And I do this about every other day. So this will last me for two days. And then the second day, I start doing this all over again because they'll be gone because I eat them twice a day. You'll be amazed at how little this makes when all is said and done. So I get it in the water. Remember that was seven quarts of water. And I only want it in here for 30 seconds. And there's no salt in my water, nothing. It's just water. Uh, and greens. 30 seconds. I've got my clock, old school clock in front of me. While I'm doing that, I already have ice in a bowl and I add a little water to my ice. And I don't add the water. I don't add the water to my ice until right about the time that I'm cooking the greens because otherwise the ice will melt and then you'll just have 
cold water. So then 30 seconds is already up. I just take the greens out, put them in my ice water with my spider tool. And you can find these in Asian stores or you can buy them now on Amazon. I think they're in my Amazon store. I'll put post a link in the show notes from my Amazon store that has that tool in there. So you get the greens in the, boy, in the uh, ice water very quickly. And what that does is it keeps them bright green. If you left them in the hot water, in the boiling water, and you let them just stay in there, they'll turn really dark green and they'll get really soft very fast. And then they won't be very appetizing because what I'm after is I'm after the green to be still bright and still have a little body. So when you bite into it, there's still some texture. It's not gonna melt in your mouth. It's not gonna be mushy. But at the same time, it's not really still crunchy. And you can do this with other greens. Now I'm gonna drain them. I let them sit in my ice water just long enough to cool them down. Now I'm gonna put them in the colander for a minute. I have a colander sitting here. And I'll show you some uh, kale that I've already done. I did this because I ran out of my box of greens the other day and I had some bunches of kale. And I do grow kale in the garden. So when my kale is growing in the garden, I can just pick kale. And I did the same thing with my garden, with the, the kale, and I can do it with my garden kale. But I cooked it for about a minute because kale, full adult kale is a little bit tougher. So it took more like a minute. But then I plunged it in ice water. And if you can look at it, you can see that this kale is bright green and it's very beautiful and it still has a little bit of a crunch to it. You can hear it when you bite into it. It's not soggy. It's not um, melt in your mouth kind of texture. And that's what I wanted. I don't want it to be too soft. And so I have my drained greens. And then the next thing I need to do is squeeze all the water out of them. There's a couple ways you can do that. You can just squeeze the water out with your hands. You know, that's kind of the, the way my mother did it. Another way you can do it, if you don't wanna touch all the greens with your hands, kind of a little bit more sanitary way, <clears throat> is you can just pick them up. I turned the Ziploc bag inside out, and then I just picked up the whole bunch of greens and they fit right in the Ziploc bag, and then it turned it right side. And then I can just, instead of having to touch all the greens with my hands, you know, just because not everybody wants their food, we're gonna eat these like they are. So you can also use gloves, but gloves are also usually plastic or something. So again, you don't have to use any of this. You can use your bare hands if they're clean. I don't remember my mother doing what I'm doing. She just used her hands and squeezed the greens out and didn't worry about it. But you can squeeze them however long you want to to get all the liquid out. You can dry them out as much as you want to. I usually do it until no more liquid comes out. And if you want to press it against the sink while you're doing it, you know, for a little bit more leverage, you could do that, but I usually don't. And then once they're all pressed, I usually just take a paper towel because, you know, it leaves a little bit of foam around the bag, which I don't think looks that good. And so then I just kind of clean my bag out a little bit because I'm going to store this in my refrigerator for the next couple of days for my serving of greens. And then when I'm getting ready to have my greens, I just grab some. So, oh, and I wanted to show you, okay, let me show you this. That, that gigantic box of greens made the equivalent of, we could say one, two, I call it about four servings, three. You could get five out of this maybe. Uh, here's four piles of greens that are probably, you know, just about half a cup. So remember, a serving size is half a cup of cooked greens or a cup of raw greens. But look at that. That great big box made four servings of cooked greens. So for my daily morning greens, I take a pile like that, and um, there are different ways you can eat them. So let's say that you like things plain, like I was just eating this kale with nothing on it, 
And I thought it tasted pretty good. It didn't bother me one bit, but my taste buds are kind of, you know, geared toward that now. So you could eat these plain with nothing on them. And actually, they're very transportable. Like um, I've taken them with me on the road with my breakfast to go with a muffin or whatever and just stuck them in a Ziploc bag. So you could eat them just like that. Or my favorite way to eat the greens every morning is I take my low sodium soy sauce, put about half a teaspoon on there, not too much. And then my other fun ingredient is ume plum vinegar, which um, I use just a few drops because it does have some sodium. So just a few drops, not too much because it does have sodium. And then I have a, a thing called Eden Shake. And Eden Shake is made from black sesame seeds, white sesame seeds, red shiso leaf, which is a mint family leaf, sea salt, ume plum vinegar, and nori seaweed. It does not have any kind of uh, ingredient list, so I don't know, I don't think it's high sodium, you really can't taste any. And then I sprinkle that on top. And there's my morning greens. So I have that every morning with my smoothie and my oatmeal. And then at lunchtime, I try to eat greens again, either at lunch or dinner, and sometimes lunch and dinner. And I always have this bag of greens in my refrigerator. And so what I do is like if I'm having beans, I take out the greens and I cut them into small pieces. So I'll take the greens and put them on my cutting board and cut them into small pieces. And pretty much any hot food, you can put the greens in the hot food and they just kind of disappear because they're already mildly, slightly cooked. So they're easy to kind of disguise in your food. And then um, if you're eating soup or beans or anything, they just kind of disappear. So it's very easy to get your greens in. Uh, if you don't want to use a seven quart pot and cook them on the stove, let's say that you love things cooked in the Instant Pot, you can put these greens in the Instant Pot. I had instructions for that in my ebook. I said to put them in the Instant Pot with a half cup of water, cook on high pressure till the reading is just at zero, okay? Uh, or one minute if you like them really soft. And then immediately release the pressure. So um, it takes time to get up to zero. So as soon as the timer starts for the pressure cooking, that's when they're done. Because if you let them go much longer, then they just kind of disintegrate. They get really too soft. So the best way to cook the greens is the way you'll eat them, okay? I will eat them like this every single day because they taste good to me. If you need to cook them in the Instant Pot and make them softer, go right ahead. Other greens like collard greens and Swiss chard and different greens may take a little bit longer than 30 seconds. To me, 30 seconds is just enough time for them to have the, the little bit of texture left. Um, some people like a minute. I prefer 30 seconds. So whatever works for you, but depending on the green, it may take a little bit longer. How, how do I know? Well, if I'm cooking the kale, for example, when I made the kale a couple days ago, as it was cooking, I tasted it. I took a piece out and said, hmm, I think they're done. And then they were done. So that's how you're going to know. You have to taste your food. So there you go. That's the daily greens recipe that I post a picture of every day on my Chef Julia support group Facebook page, on my um, business page, Chef Julia. Every place I post things that I eat, what I eat in a day, people are always saying, how do you make your greens? How do you make your greens? This is how I make my greens every single day. So there you go. I hope you eat your greens. Eat them at least twice a day. If you can, eat greens six times a day. And uh, Dr. Esselstyn counts greens in many other ways. So um, I think he counts beets as greens, but you know, eat your greens. And uh, you can even salad greens count as greens. So not just cooked greens, but your regular old salad greens. So if you eat a salad, you eat these, you eat breakfast greens, you can get easily four servings of greens in a day. So that's my green talk today. And I hope you make this and I hope you enjoyed my video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm always posting YouTube videos of things that I make of my different daily recipes and plant-based basics and fun things to eat. And I hope you watch my videos. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.